guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impressions of some items from my BoxyCharm for July and my Birch Box for July. Now, I have canceled my Birch Box after this one because they're just not my thing. <laughs> I don't know, they don't send me things that I enjoy. And for that reason, I'm actually not even showing you all everything that they gave me. Um, I mean, I'll show you, but I'm not going to give a first impression. Here's a shampoo. It smells mm, like medicine. And they have a hair serum and conditioner from the same brand. And it may be awesome. Let me preface with that. It may be awesome, but I don't like the smell. Another moisturizer sample, and I'm like, quit sending me skincare samples. I'm not changing my routine to try a sample this big and have my skin go, wow, what'd you do to me? Um, and one of the ponytail bobble things. I love these. They're really cool. If you've never tried them, I actually really do like them. Um, I really, 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 really love BoxyCharm. And I get so excited when I get them in. And I'm excited to show you all what I think of this month's All uh, Natural box. So, I'm going to pull out these beautiful brushes first. These are from Luxie. And there is a large eye blending brush, a precision crease brush, and a foundation brush. This um, I'm not going to use in this video just because I would actually use this for skincare, not for foundation. Because I hate these kind of brushes. But I will say it's very, very soft. Um, I will use these eye brushes, though, to play around with the Butter London palette. I think this is so should have planned out what I actually want to do with it. Let's do... Ooh, see I've got to keep in mind I've got a pretty wild lip color to try so I can't do anything too crazy. Alright, so I'm just going to do something fairly simple. I'm going to use Enchantress first. Looking good so far. Ooh! That's pretty. Wow, and this brush, it's like placing it exactly where I want it for being on the lid. And then kind of giving a little crease action. Ooh, I'm impressed. Hm. Awesome. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of the darker brown Temptress and try to do my crease with this brush, which I was not planning on doing, but... Ooh. Runa, please get down from the window. Luna Charm! Luna! Thank you. She is so rotten. something a little out there. I'm going to take Femme Fatale, the turquoise color, and do it underneath. Um, I'm going to do brown first though. Or well, I'm going to do Diva. It's like a golden brown. Using this little precision brush. Pretty, pretty. Alright, now I'm going to use the turquoise. So the blending of those together makes it kind of green. I wonder if you add water. I'm going to see if this makes it 
Yeah, it's a little more turquoise when you add water to your brush. That's pretty. These shadows are really pretty. I love it. Now, I want to really dig into these colors, but I'm not going to because the lip color that I'm trying is like super bold. But overall, quality of the Butter London palette, love it. Uh, let me swatch a few colors as well while we're playing around. Here is Star. It's a green color. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, Femme Fatale will do another one of that. Yeah, so it's not, if you notice, you really got to add the water to your brush to make it a deep turquoise. Queen. Oh, I love that. Oh, I need that. I need it. Let's see. I'm going to put that on my inner corner. Oh, and blend it. Ooh. That's fun. I like that. That's pretty. It's fun. Just playing around with colors. Um, and you all have seen the other colors on my eyes. So this, I love. Brushes, I'm shocked. Like, I expected them to just be brushes. But I truly, truly love these brushes. So that's really, really cool. Go ahead and pop some mascara on. So this is Benefit They're Real. I'm pretty sure I've tried this before and honestly didn't love it. But I will give it another try. Oh, wait. This is black, right? I assume. It just, it's in like a gray tube. Ooh, I do like the brush. Maybe it was a different benefit one that I tried and didn't love. Or maybe I'm just crazy and I changed my mind. Um, it's a good everyday mascara, actually. Huh. That did really well. I love the plastic. It has like the plastic um, applicator. Because I find the other ones, you get things stuck in them and they just, wah, I don't like them. Okay. I'm going to try out these wipes to clear off my under eye area so that I can try this under eye brightening serum. When I hear the word serum, I think skincare, but this actually has color coverage too, because it says light to medium, which is very interesting to me. Eh. Oh! <laughs> I literally got that all over my new chair. Arrow, I hate you. Well, that was traumatic. Anyways, um, honestly, this color mm, looks like it might be a little dark for me, but oh well. It is a lightening serum that still adds color as well. And I'm using the Cleansing Spa Water Face Wipes. I've heard really good things about these. Oh, they're thick. Mm, very thick. Ooh, very fancy. Okay. Good. Not burning near the eye area, so that's good. Hmm. Seem good. Let's see. All right, it takes those off really easily. I wonder if it'll take the stain off my chair. I'm a little bitter. Okay, that off in the room. Okay. Hmm. I can tell a little bit of a difference. Eh, I don't know. Not loving it, not hating it. It's just kind of there. I need to look more into it and see what it, exactly it's supposed to do. before I really give it a review. Gave a little color. Brightened, it brightened. All right, cool. 
So there's that. Tried that, tried that, tried that, tried that. Oh, we're almost done. Lips. So I've tried Ofra before on a previous video. I was actually super excited. A lot of people complained about getting this color, but I love it. I think it's fun, it's summer, and it's bold. The only thing I don't like about Ofra is they're too watery. Like, I, I, I feel like this isn't even, but as I start reapplying it certain places, it kind of comes off like it's watery. It's not, it's not a super high impact on color. Maybe if you were to use it with a lip liner, it'd be better, but it just seems like it's a gloss almost not a lip stain even though it's a liquid lipstick to me this is more of a gloss um, previously when I've tried them it does dry down to more of a lipstick but it comes off when you eat or drink so take it with a grain of salt it's pretty it's not as bold as I thought it was gonna be actually like at all honestly it goes on more of like a a light raspberry color rather than like a super fuchsia color. I don't even know what the name of this is. It doesn't say. Oh, Saturini. Ooh. So, Saturini um, is not quite as bold as I thought it would be, but it's cute. It's a color I don't have in my collection, so thank you for that BoxyCharm. The last thing I have to physically try on here is Juliet Has a Gun not a perfume, which is indeed a perfume. <laughs> it's a very creative name. All right, let's see what we got. And just a tip, you see a lot of people go mm -mm, and just start rubbing in their perfume. That actually breaks down the chemicals. It won't last as long and it won't smell quite as strong, I guess. But if you just dab it, that's how you can spread it. That's very interesting. It's like... I don't think I like it. I don't hate it. It's... Gosh, I can't think of the words. I need to see what the notes are. It's like... It smells kind of old. But it's... I want to know what's in it. It's like powdery and old but sexy at the same time. I know that was a horrible description. You're like, what? But eh, I don't love it. One more thing I want to try is I'm going to take one of my liquid lipsticks that I know stays on really, really well and see if the makeup wipe removes it. Because we all have that struggle where we're like, how do I get this off my lips? Okay. So this is the Ofra one. You can see how it's kind of glossy for a liquid lipstick. And here is my Smashbox, my ride or die. I'd say they're probably dry now. This cloth is really thick. It's nice. Let's see what we got. I'm actually very impressed. Wow. That's impressive. All right, I'm going to have to find out where I can buy these because that was amazing. One more thing that I want to talk to you all about is the Elemis food mask. And I actually have a video that I made uh, when I physically tried it that I will post here now. So after using the mask, wow, I made a mess, uh, my skin is super clean feeling, like that like squeaky clean, but it still feels hydrated. Um, it's kind of tight in a way, like I can tell it's some tightening as well as the brightening. It feels good. I don't know about how much moisture it's really letting in because I don't have like this sense of dewy feeling. I don't feel dry. 
but I don't feel overly hydrated. So I'll have to keep trying it to really speak to that piece of it. But it has a really great smell. It's super light, but it's like kind of herby, earthy. So it really makes you feel like you're at a spa. Overall, I'm definitely going to continue trying out this mask. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll be doing these videos monthly to show you all my first impressions from BoxyCharm. I will not have Birchbox in the future. We are cutting ties, splitting ways, but I will have a BoxyCharm updates in the future.